embark on a long stretch of games here on their home floor. As a matter of fact, the Clippers have 11 of their next 13 at home. Ball handling duties at the point. Here's Batum, gives it right back. Now Jackson fires. And that's how we open up our scoring tonight. The other end of the floor on Paul George. Covington, when they can get to it, this was in transition. They didn't get to it. Paul George against their guards. Too big a mismatch. Paul George last week, 26 points, nine rebounds, seven assists on average. And a 4-0 week, and George has got it cooking early. Back-to-back -back possessions. Last year, did some television for the Clippers and gets a chance as a head coach for the first time with these Blazers. As Powell score that and one. He's got a lot of space there at his home in Denver, I understand. I don't care how much space he has. <laughs> it's six weeks. Damian Lillard knocks down his first three of the night. Percentage of points from three-point range. These are two of the top five. Portland is third. Clippers are fifth. Friendly bounce. C.J. McCollum. Two-point game. Third meeting of the year already. And they're going to match up once again in December. This season series will be over by December 6th. A lot of great things to say about Stan Van Gundy from Ty Lue today, Allie, after you slung him earlier. Yeah, exactly. This is uh, us making up for giving him an elbow in the open. Threes are going to fly tonight. We've got four of the top ten guys in this game in three-point field goals attempted. Oh, what a finish. All four of those guys have been tremendous and very important at the beginning of the year as Powell gets in the lane again. Amphrey Simons, the slam dunk champ a year ago, he said there's a lot to his game I love. Jackson fires a long three, and that one's good. He is not afraid. The chance here, Covington to the hole. Lost the handle, stripped by Paul George, a great defender. Now man running the floor, and man lays it in. Another offensive board, but Zeller can't put it back. Clippers by four, George pulls it, and George hits it. Last year, defensive rating 29. This year, Stan, they're in 13th in the NBA. That has been an emphasis as McCullough, little turnaround jumper is good. It's been a nice combination here. Kennard, Hartenstein, and Mann. Those three together, a big time plus minus as Winslow finishes inside. Great drive by Justice Winslow. And Winslow's main problem is, hasn't been able to stay on the floor six years in the NBA. Averaging 39 games a year is all he's played. Four point deficit for the Blazers here. McCullum on the take. He's got a quick five, and now he scores two more. And now two Western Conference foes matching up. Two teams that have high expectations this season. George off to a great start tonight. Little shake and bake. High arching shot. Scores over Covington's. C.J. McCullum, nine points thus far, seven in the quarter. Gives it to Dame, who finds Covington. A lot of threes from Covington, and he cashes in. McCullum has had a big second quarter. Lillard on the bench for a good chunk of it. Powell for three, lines it up, and knocks it down. Fantastic pass. In front, their first lead since the first quarter when it was 26-25. Up top for Zubats, what a find. If you're going to shoot as many threes as these teams do, the game becomes very volatile. We're going to get changes as we get a great backdoor cut from Lillard. With Nurkic and his ability to make some plays, especially as Damian Lillard draws a lot of the attention. Wow, that was a tough basket. Powell's been given the heavy burden of guarding George. He scored some points as well. A little step back three. And George stays hot. Really doing a good job harassing Paul George. Reggie Jackson screens for him and forces a switch. Then he was able to get the three over C.J. McCollum. Running with Bledsoe. Hartenstein. Jackson turns the corner up top. Hartenstein throws it down. The first back in front under a minute to go. Been an entertaining game thus far. Lillard, no. Nurkic the offensive board and the putback. One second separating the shot and game clocks. Jackson going to work. Turn around. It's good. One point lead. Let's hear from Allie LaForce. Allie, I know you had a chance to visit with Ty Lu coming out of the locker room as George gets a friendly bounce to get us started here in the second half. Go ahead, Allie. 
coach just wanted the Clippers to be smarter on both sides of the basketball. He said offensively, we have to make the extra pass when it's there. And he said defensively, we just we made stupid mistakes. There was a couple times they went under the screen. On well, that's one of those plays where it's changed, Brian. McCullum tried to draw the foul on the break, leaned back into the guy. You're not getting that call this year. Clippers lead by a point. Los Angeles had a seven-point lead after the first quarter, up by one at the half. Again, it's Lillard to Nurkic and a familiar combination. To either finish or make the next pass. Nurkic, ten points, nine rebounds. Lillard for three. Cash. That was lined up beautifully. The Blazers never got the ball reversed to the other side of the floor. They played two on two on one side. Counted continuation for George. Simons on the attack. Oh, Simons! Oh, ho! the slam dunk champion showing that form right there. Batum two out of three from the line. Clippers lead by four. And a lead for Covington. Contact counted. And one, Robert Covington. Kennard coming off a screen. Finds Hartenstein. Gets in deep. Tellers right with him. Oh, nice finish. Hartenstein with the left hand. Good strong move there by Hartenstein. Simons finds Zeller. A spin. Zeller gives it right back to him. Zeller making the most of his opportunity there. Batum for three. Got it. Damian Lillard working with Covington. Now around Zeller. Boy, speed dribble. Ball is popping well for the Blazers. A little on his way. Little scores. Five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Bledsoe finds Hartenstein and a two-handed jam. A great look by Eric Bledsoe. Scored 22, then had 12 in his next game, but it has been rough since. There's a nice find. A breakdown defensively by the Blazers. Jackson wide open. McCollum running with the bench. McCollum can't score it. Nance with the offensive rebound. Simons, he'll let it fly. And it's in. Anthony Simons with a three ball. And now a three-pointer. Hartstein, little left-handed floater is good. I know Larry Nance can make that shot. I still like him better around the basket where he can get up on the glass. Quick release by Luke Kennard. And Lillard back on the floor for the Blazers. Lillard playing off the ball here. Nurkic finds him at a little mid-range is good. He rattles it home. Again, one of the reasons the Clippers have gotten this lead, the three leading scorers for the Blazers. Lillard has another great pass for yeah. Bledsoe. Lillard finds Nurkic, gives it right back. Shot clock at six, Lillard got it. Back-to-back -back hits for Damian Lillard. Just under the eight-minute mark. Down on the floor is Powell. George steps back, takes a peek, and cashes it in. ...of the game. The ball movement, Powell on the take. Powell hangs, scores. 22-0 run against the Hornets. A flurry to the finish line to win that game, and Bledsoe delivers a three. Nurkic runs into George, a swipe down, Nurkic, strong basket. Opportunity here for the Blazers as we approach the six-minute mark. Lillard's going to pull up three, and it's good! Lillard has not missed since returning to the floor. And Nurkic goes to help, it's a dish to the bigs. Nice five, McCollum springs free, beautiful setup. That man making it tough on him, got to get it across, they just do. C.J. McCollum gives it up. Nurkic for three. That's good. That was a big one. One possession game. Jackson hangs. Zubats there to clean it up. Leave it to Zubats with the follow. A great play coming out of the timeout yeah. by Chauncey Billups. He just couldn't knock it down. Batum on the assist from George. Nick Batum hits another three. Damian Lillard on George. He goes to work. He spins twice. He is fouled. Paul George! Well, it's an impressive win. The Clippers have won two out of three from the Blazers this year. Both of their wins coming on their home floor.